studio. Say, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And then he said to me, what is the word? Give an instruction. And I'm going to tell you, go to Peter. And Peter said, you got to find enough faith to master out a praise. You got to find enough faith to praise the Lord. And when you begin to praise the Lord, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is going to step in in the middle of your storm. Jesus is going to step in in the middle of your situation. Jesus is going to step in in the middle of your problems. And he says to me, cast your case unto him. Now you've got to have faith enough to bring it over to Jesus. He
a friend sometimes and somebody to talk to. And I have that in all of you. I have the honor of receiving the man of God here. The Bible says, give honor to whom it's due. Amen. Give honor to whom it's due. Even God has in hierarchies. Amen. And the Bible says, Lucifer was high. Even oh. Lucifer was high. Can oh, you yeah. imagine? And Can you imagine? imagine? So I want to honor the, the man of God I hear. It's a blessing. And when I was coming here, the Spirit of God told me, there is a, 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 a fire anointing here because of the presence of the men of God here. Amen. There is another dimension of anointing here because of your presence here. I'm humble and I'm, thanking, I'm thankful to God for what he has done. Open your Bible and hold it first of all in your hand. This is the custom that we do here. We are about to get to the word of God now. I asked God for two things when I was praying and I asked God, Lord, give the supreme authority. Give, give the authority of God to be manifested. The word of God has got to have authority and it's got to be above everything. It is, it is, you cannot contradict it. You cannot even begin to, 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 to minimize it. It's got to have its power. And when it's entered, the Bible says, Your word is light on my path and lamp on my feet. When the word of God entered, it's light. And as, as God, as I was praying, let there be light according to the word. And this is what we want to do. The second thing I ask, and this is the things that you are going to see it in your own eyes. On, on, your, on your own eyes today, you're going to witness also the demonstration of the power of God because the kingdom of God is not just a matter of words but it is also a matter of the demonstration of the power of God. Hold your Bible with me and say this is the word of God. I am who it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can. Today I choose to receive it. And my life will never be the same again. Turn with me your Bible in the book of Hebrews chapter 12. I want us to read, and this is how I always like to do it. After we read, then I give actually the theme and the, 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 the theme of what we are going to preach this evening. I want you to turn with me in Hebrews chapter 12. Just the first two chapters, first two verses that we are going to read. And then also we are going to read another scripture. Only two verses today. I always like to balance the New Testament with the Old Testament. Yes. The first is Hebrews chapter 12. And I'm going to read it. If you are there, say, I am. I am. Therefore, we also cease. We are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight. Let us lay aside every weight. Let us lay aside every weight. And the sin which so easily ensnares us. And let us run on with endurance the race that is set before us. Looking on to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. For who the joy that was set before him endured the cross, eh, despising the shame, eh, and I sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. 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 Now I want you also to quickly turn with me your Bible in the book of Samuel, Samuel the 17th chapter, and we're going to begin to read it from verse 34. Samuel 17, 7, 1 Samuel chapter 17. I almost forgot that it had two Samuels now. <laughs> First Samuel chapter 17 from verse 34, and we're going to go until verse 38. Amen. I read in the name of Jesus. Amen. But David said to Saul, your servants used to keep his father's sheep. Mm. And when a lion or a bear come and took the lamb out of the flock, oh. I went out after it. I struck it, and when it arose against me, I caught it by its bear and struck it and killed it. Your servant has killed both lions and bears. I'm telling somebody, you will kill lions and bears tonight. And this is, and this as circumcised Philistine will be like one of them, seeing he has defied the army of the living God. Moreover, David said, the Lord whom delivered 
delivered me from the paws of the lion and the paws of the bear. He will deliver me also from the hand of this still Philistine. And Saul said to David, Go, and the Lord be with you. Verse 38. So Saul clothed David with his armor, and he put a bronze hamlet on his head. He also clothed him with a, with a coat of mail. David fastened his sword to his armor and tried to walk, for he had not tested them. And David said to Saul, I cannot walk with these, for I have not tested them. So David took them off. Amen. David took them off. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to preach from a subject this evening. Excess baggage. Okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. Excess baggage. You gotta have some baggage that you gotta put it off. Hey, is that <laughs> you gotta have some baggage that you have to put them off. Yes. The devil is a lie. You may be sitting in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Give the word of God a praise. Amen. 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 <laughs> we see that. It is a day of hope. Why hope? The Bible says the church shall live by faith. Yeah. But there are three things that remain. Faith, hope, and love. Mm. Mm. Why do we want to deal with faith? Why do we want to deal with faith? Because, we, we, why do we want to deal with hope rather? Because Faith has got to deal with your spirit. Amen. Hope has got to deal with your mind. The spirit might be in the right place, yes. but if your mind ain't right, yes. you won't get what your spirit is taking you. Yes. Amen. 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 And that is why today, the Lord has given me a message for this generation, for your mind that has got to be in the right place. Yes. Amen. Wherever your mind is, wherever you go. Yes. Amen. And I begin to say that the gospel is centered at the cross. Amen. We have the Old Testament and we have the event that unfolding after the cross. Amen. Now, God didn't prove to be a liar of the Old Testament because the Old Testament came to fulfillment at the cross. Amen. Now, it got to help you think, it got to make you understand that if God has not been a liar about all that happened in the Old Testament, this means that I can step in after the cross expecting that something better is ahead of me. Amen. And that is why when we are at the cross, that is why when we are at the cross, it does not stop there. Because at the cross, there are many promises that are ahead of us. And then you cannot attain to the promise that are ahead of you without hope. Amen. If you are hoping for something that you do not believe you will have, that is a wish, that is not a hope. So, yes. so many times we wish, but we don't have a hope. Why today I want somebody mm. to walk in life hoping for something. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. You've got to understand as you're walking in life, there are people you would meet that will dump on you their baggage. Mm. There are people you will meet in life that would make you feel responsible for something that ain't even your business. You will meet some people that will make you feel that you're responsible for, for something that is not your business. Hallelujah. But not only you will meet people who will dump on you their baggage, you yourself can go around in life picking up baggages uh, that you don't need to have in your life. I am not only here for the easy things, but I'm also here for the hard thing. I gotta make you understand this. Now, this is where the pastor gets the big bucks. 
Because I got to make you understand this, eh, that it is not only used for you to see the devil in other people's life, eh, but you can see the devil in your own life. It is easier to see the enemy on the outside, but it's a hard thing to see the enemy on the inside. It is easier to see the enemy on the outside, but it is not so easy to see the enemy on the inside, especially if it is an enemy that you like. And all of us have some enemies that we like. Oh, don't look cute on me, and I'm talking the truth now. You know in the family, you got somebody in the family who when, just, when, when they do this thing, it takes you off. It might not be the family, it might be yourself. an enemy that I like. Mm. Oh, hallelujah. I'm going to leave that alone for now. Thanks God. How do you overcome an enemy that you like? Mm. Now, 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 you have, to, you, have to, you have to understand this now. I'm sitting here in a situation on the right side, I've got people dumping their baggages on me, and on the left side, I've got myself dumping the baggages on myself, picking up problems on myself. So what I have is that I've, I've accumulated unnecessary baggages that are stopping me from becoming all that God would have me to become yeah, yeah. because I've got to have some things that I'm, I'm getting ready to go to my next yes. level. Yes. 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 Amen. you got to drop off some stuff yeah. in order to go to the next level. Amen. Haven't you been in a situation where now you wake up one morning and then you find a friend or a cousin or anybody they just come to your house and they're knocking and then they say, now, I, I, something bad happened to me and, and I need a place to crash now. I don't have a place to go now. I need something to help, to, to, to help me until I get myself on my, on my feet. And you, with a generous heart, you decide to help, you decide to accept them. But after a few days, you begin to find out that they don't want to clean, they don't want to cook, they don't want to wash the dishes, they don't want to do anything. They don't want to contribute money for the rent. They don't want to pay the groceries. But they're sitting around all day in their house and complaining about the food. And then when you come up to them and say to them that you got to do something, they try to use that and turn it against you. Why are you doing this to me? Is it because I don't have money? Is it because you know how they grew up? No, 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 no. It's not about that. Jesus said, He who wants to follow me must be. His own cross and follow me. Amen. Hallelujah. It's the word of God. Yes, Lord. And it get bad when you are a child of God now. It get bad when you are a Christian. Eh? And they begin to say, Ah, oh, now you, which kind of Christian are you now? You, uh, do you go around in church singing, eh? and is this how they teach you in, ch in your church? Eh? They, they, they try to do it on you. Are you. Do you say yourself you're a child of God singing? Are you really a pastor? And then about being a pastor. And, and the Bible might say that we must forgive. Eh? The Bible does not say to us that we must be ignorant. I, 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 I am a Christian and I'm going to tell you which kind of a Christian I am. I am, I, I, I am forgiving, I am humble, but I am not fearful. I am long-hearted, but I am not ignorant and I am not pathetic. And then if you have to, if you have going to stay with me, you got to pull up your weight and carry yourself unto Jesus Christ. Don't put your back on me. I'm sick and tired of people putting their blames on me. I'm sick and tired of people coming with me with the murmuring. You ain't got nothing good to say. You got negative attitude. I can't stay around the negative people around my life. No, 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 no. no. This is not going to happen to me. Because negative attitude ain't got nothing good to be thankful about God. But when I'm seeing everything that God is doing, I need to be thankful so that in order that God to takes me to my next dimensions now. Amen. And it's get bad if you're a man in that situation. Can I talk to you, brother? 
brothers in this place. Can I talk to the brothers in this place? And I can I want to talk to the brothers a little bit and we'll come to the women. Be you gotta be away away of the neighbor spirit. Yes, amen. Neighbor, as the Bible says it, the Bible says his name means he's a fool. He is unconsiderate. He thinks he does not think before he acts. And the spirit of the neighbor is all up into this generation. And God help us it even in the church. When you find the people they try to dump the things. When you find men with pennies on the bed but with lollipops in the head. You find men with pennies in the bed, but they are still boiling on the heart. The heart. Amen. That's so true. Come on, prophet. Speak the truth. Amen. The name of the spirit, the spirit is around. Mm. And you find people there, eh, they try to dump everything, even on the woman. Eh. Mm. You can work, you can stand and minister, you can do this, eh. you don't have anything. Eh. And if a woman goes out and finds favor, you feel threatened, eh. mm. you feel that it's going to take over. Mm. No, she's supposed to be a helper. Mm. And she's going to find favor because the Bible says, he will find a good thing, he will find a wife, eh. find a good thing. of Satan's girlfriend. Yeah, you know who Satan's girlfriend is. He goes by the name of Jezebel. Yeah. And the spirit of Jezebel is even around the church. God help us. Yeah. So controlling, so manipulative, so controlling. They are seductive and they are all up in the church of house. They want to know what you get up to. They want to know what you do. And the Bible says, Jezebel means And his name is by Dick Barnard. He said Jezebel often comes from a dysfunctional family. Yes. He is, she is very religious. Mm. She is clever and manipulative. Yes. She wants power and authority with no accountability. Yes. She goes after leaders. Yes. She tries to pull people away from the God or ten covering. Yes. She loves title. Yes. She uses sex flattery, yes. witchcraft, yes. lies to gain control. Yes. She sows confusion with letter and telephonic calls. Yes. She is hot tempered. Yes. She is quick to judge and advise. Yes. She hides well in prophetic and in faith circles. Yes. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, help us. I want somebody just to help me say, get out, you shut the bed out of this place. Professor, I against people who want to be independent. I'm against women who want to be independent. It's a good thing to be independent, but don't deviate from your God-given goal, which was called to be a helper of the man. All oh, Jezebel is interested in, it's not about you, she's all interested in about herself. And so I want, to help, I, want, I want the man to help me out eh, to say to the sister, Girl, I'm watching you. Don't be a baggage. I'm watching you, yes, I'm watching you. Don't show me either, but show me Jesus. You'll be mistaken if you think that all I'm talking about, I'm talking about in relationship. No, this is not a matter of relationship because in every society, you are exactly willing, you are exactly likely to find a crazy neighbor or an evil Jezebel. In every situation, in every place, you will find a crazy Jezebel. You will find them everywhere in your surrounding. You will find them everywhere. It's not uh, about the relationship. For those who are not in the relationship, you are not left up. I'm coming over to you as well. But 
sometimes uh, you, 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 you will find that in a situation like that, uh, somebody has got to perish. Somebody has got to fail. If you are not careful, uh, if you are not discerning, uh, somebody will fail. If it is not one, uh, then it is everybody who is going to fail. Uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, Ahab failed with Jezebel, uh, but Abigail didn't fail with Nabal. Uh, I forgot some, I forgot some people here. Ahab failed with Jezebel, uh, but Abigail said, no, 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 no. I will be damn fool if I let you Nabal. Oh, hell, praise 
close. David, now, couldn't you say no this time? Uh -huh. mm. yeah. Just found a weakling, yes. Found a weakling, yes. <laughs> but you don't know. Couldn't you say no this time? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. She's not going to take me there. <laughs> Help me. David was not a spring chicken. He was 51 years old. He was not a young lad. He had all that most people would envy about him. He, he had everything at his disposal. He had you think that he was the one who was supposed to set the example. If there was anybody who knew the law better, it should have been David. looking for opinion for other 
people just so that we can find peace on ourselves. But I've come to the conclusion of one thing. Any way the Lord blesses me, I will be satisfied. And if you can't hear with the blessing of the Lord on my life, that's your baggage, not my baggage. Anyway, the Lord blesses me, I'm going to be satisfied. Amen. And so, we become separatists into this world. Don't want to be bothered by nobody. If it was all right with us, we would live on our block all by our own. If it was all right with us, we would go on a plane all on our own. If it was all right with us, we would not want to be bothered by anybody. We get into the plans and we don't want to greet anybody. We put on headphones and it ain't even plugged into nothing yet. Just trying to tell somebody, I don't want to be bothered with you on this three hours flight but you gotta be careful with that because you don't know when God has sent you next to your miracle when God has sent you next to your breakthrough and so if you have packages that you need to get rid of you ought to introduce yourself how you doing how you doing and brother look up can somebody help me in this place so separatist in this world everybody wants to be an individual everybody wants to be somebody yes and the problem with us is this the problem with this is that the baggage that we take in life today can be so heavy it can be wearing down on us with the things that we choose to pick up and work with in life can bring us back it can cause lots of things on our emotion that is why the writer in the book of Hebrews says uh, that looking onto everything that we are seeing uh, we are in compared with such amount of clouds of witnesses let us lay aside uh, every package uh, that are hindering us uh, from reaching our next level uh, the interesting about about baggage is that they come in all sizes and shapes the interesting thing about baggage is that they are made up of multiplicity of material donning various colors and hues some of them can be also attractive that we put more effort on the package than on the substance that goes into the packages we put more effort on what is on the package than on, on, on how the packages look than on what is inside the packages haven't you seen some sisters haven't you seen some sisters with designer handbag that cost over a thousand dollars with the gucci purses that cost over 800 rand but you're trying to find out in it anyway got it 20 rand you cannot find out in it and got even a cent in it oh you, you're laughing for the sister let me get to the brothers here and when you find some brothers with alligator watches we have to find some brothers trying to be cool trying to be swaggy trying to be all so top but then you look for them and then with the crocodile shoes and you look for them you tell you ask them take you somewhere else, but they ain't even can care take you somewhere. You ask them can you loan me twenty rand? They ain't got nothing. Or oh, I'm waiting for my check. You ain't got no check coming. You just a big bunch of liars. You just trying to perpetrate yourself. Oh, I feel it here.
presenting ourselves ah. with the package, you see. Mm. And so I found out the hurt. Mm. Can we have some church in this place? Eh? Yeah. And so I found out the hurt. As we are walking in life, uh, hurt. we picked up baggages and uh, hurt. And those baggages and uh, hurt, they, 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 they look so nice uh, hurt. and those baggages uh, hurt. They look so bling blinging, uh, it looks so glittering, uh, and as you're walking in life, uh, you find something that is nice, uh, you find something that is worth something, uh, and you decide to pick it up. Uh, I don't know which package have you decided to pick. Uh, maybe it is a man, uh, maybe it is a woman, uh, maybe it is a job, uh, maybe it is a hobby. Uh, Maybe it is anything, but just because it looks so nice, you decided to pick it up. But you gotta be careful if they got something good in it. When the storms of life comes in, and when the storms of life come to kick in, you can go and decide and look out and what do I have in it. They told you that that man was not good enough for you. You wouldn't want to listen. Oh, Papa, I love Rocha so much. But where? the time came in, Rosa is giving you all kinds of problems, Rosa can't even comfort you, that woman who came on the dress all up in the sleeves, and then you decide to find out in the house, she don't want to cook, she don't want to the dishes, she don't want to do anything, and you begin to ask yourself, oh Lord, And when the stones of life start to kick in, the colors start to pile off. And you go into your package, trying to find if you can find something nice, but you can't find something nice. And then you, you think, since I didn't succeed the first time, maybe let me try the next time. And as you go in life, be careful of the first problems you have in life. Often times, problems can make or break you if you don't deal with it well. You have to get wise counseling because if you don't get wise counseling, you can go and pick up something bad again. I was talking to a lady recently and she was and she was able to move between two boyfriends in the space of one week. And the two boyfriends she moved in, in the space of one week, the men were actually best friends. I asked her, what took you? What came over your mind to do something like this? She said, I was so badly hurt, I needed some comforting. I was so badly hurt, I needed somebody to tell me she came. I was so badly hurt, I needed somebody to help me out. But that's the problem, sir. Because when you don't deal with your first mistake, don't go about doing things. You gotta have your time and make sure that you are healed properly. Now, this is a Louis. Now, this is something that I can go relax on them. This is something uh, that will give me peace uh, based on what I have. Uh, I'm telling something uh, about something that happens in life. Uh, when you go into this life uh, and you be uh, and, 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 and you, 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 you didn't succeed in the first thing uh, and you say let me make a new hobby. Uh, let me make a new hobby. Let me go into the press meeting. Uh, maybe let me go start singing. Uh, but then uh, when the storms of life comes in, you begin to know that you don't even know do re mi fa so la si do you don't even know that singing and coming easily when the storms of life start to kick in you begin to examine your louis you begin to examine it well closely and you begin to find out that that ain't even an l that is an h so your louis has become a who you begin to find out that the thing that you thought will give you solace and peace it's getting on your last nerve and you don't want to be bothered with it no more you don't want to can we have church into this place if i'm preaching better you answer me better oh, hallelujah and then you begin to have those packages and then you don't want to be bothered with it no more and the devil say oh now you like packages i'm gonna show you what packages are because the bible says the devil when the devil comes he comes in like a flood he comes in like a flood. When you get out of this problem, the next problem comes. Now you
you have these baggages with you, but let me let, let, let me find a way if I can have it. Then you don't know what you're going to do, eh? then you're all stressed out there eh? because they took your money. Then the next thing that you're going to do eh? is get yourself a bottle. Eh? And that's another part, that's, that's another package. Eh? You keep picking up packages after packages. Eh? And they never say, oh now you like it.
begin to write what is challenging you. Get a pen or something and then begin to put it here on the altar. We are going to step on it. We are going to go and say, we bring, we're giving it all over to Jesus. My case over to Jesus. My problems over to him. Lord, I got papers. I'm going to give it over to you. Lord, the gossipers around me, I'm going to give it over to you. Lord, I don't know what I'm going to do. Give it over to Jesus. Because it is time now for you to move to your next level. I'm releasing the Holy Spirit right now. Holy Spirit, move now. Speak now. Speak now, speak now, speak now. Let the Holy Spirit blow over this place right now. Right about now. Spirit of God, touch now. In the name of Jesus. Of paper, go in your office, get a piece of paper, give to anybody here. Yeah. You're going to write your package because you are going with this after tomorrow. Amen. You are going with it tomorrow. Yes. The only two things that you can go with to your next level it is love, it is faith, Amen. nothing else, nothing else. Amen. Get a piece of paper here, yeah. it is a prophetic day. You have never seen, write your package right now. Lord, I need to travel. Write it down. Lord, there are people on my back. Write it now. Lord, I need some a breakthrough. Write it now. And you are going to bring it over to the cross. Yes, Rase kama kote karuse de krose kababyo Repro kosiki na mrakot matakani bakonde rabaki andori esete Rakuske na makunde karabababababa I want you to keep to remember us now with the sun now Manda kori abababababababa Yena manda abababababababababa Rasa na mama 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 baba kunda rabababababababababa Your burdens. Yes. The Lord was showing me your 
kids, your beggars, the beggars that you have of bringing people here in South Africa for the problem of your marriage. The Lord was showing right now. And the Lord is me now. Drop it. Drop it over to Jesus. Lift up your leg and say, Lord, Lord, I'm coming over with it. Lord, I'm coming over with this. You say, come to me, all of you are with you.
word in itself. I don't know, I'm not going to say about other people, but if there is one person that this word has touched, mm. like you, it's not just such. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Like, 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 like Christ. Mm. I'm speaking the truth, man. Amen. What was your word? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord.
waking up to going to the dogs. Be courageous. You are cheating. You are killing. He who looks at the sun, who looks at the wind, shall never sow. It's time to sow now. It's time to sow now. Your plan, your progress, your purpose has got to open right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands over this young man. Stretch your hands over him right now. The Lord God is going to bring every spirit torment in you out. Father, we thank you for this day. I want to, to allow the man of God to, to bless us. Reverend Albert May is going to bless us as we go.